the but plot cavities are still not been completely or not been abandoned. That's one reason. And the second reason is because uh, the we someone is not in a proper or correct mental application. Uh, they are not because they are fei uh. And the third reason is because only to the object. So coming to one range of experience. But the object you have to can be understand in two ways. One, one way the object is the, your mental object, and the second is the object as the, the conditionality given to you. Okay. So, but, but it's very clear, uh, especially in Sarawak Stillwater School, the mental object, uh, the object, uh, the other two might not necessarily to be uh, appear, but then if the man, if the the so called is uh, the conditionality object. Okay, so conditionality object if appear, it might affect someone too. So this is uh, definitely doesn't agree with the Theravada school. Okay, and the Theravada school would not uphold this kind of idea, but. In Sarawastivada school, they have to explain about this because Sarawastivada school believe that there are certain type of arahant before they pass away. If their wisdom is not very strong, even they attend arahant sheep, they still be able to fall back, you know, uh, to uh, to the back to maybe even just uh, uh, back to the third fruit, or even possibly to second fruit, but certainly he always retained the first fruit, okay? So, understand what I mean? You know what it means by second fruit and third fruit and first fruit, right? So if you don't, please raise your hand, so otherwise uh, uh, you will not get very confused, okay? So in other words, mean it, it, I might be fall back to this uh, uh, non-returner or the one returner, but certainly, it always can at least return as the stream antenna. Okay. Special condition, like a wood trigger. So that's what I'm going to say. What does a what does a special conditionality means uh, as an object? So it because it's certainly believed that in arahant for arahant, the arahant does not, you know, the arahant doesn't uh, the, the, an arahant doesn't have. That, that, <laughs> because I think there was, is that Trump? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's so good. We can have some news. We can just have a pause and listen to the news. Mm. Sorry, no. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes we have something to uh, add on us, add some, you know, spice on on the food. <laughs> all right. Uh, so you know, because it's uh, uh, certainly everybody knows that. Uh, uh, but then for Salawasti water is for sure. So once you attend a stream antenna, uh, you cannot say that you will be become a normal person again. You are become a noble person, even though this noble person is called the one that called the learner, you know, you share in Chinese, mean you still have to learn. Uh, in other words, uh, if you want to put it in what we just study now, the, for the for the for the the list of the defilements, in other words mean they they might be have uh, gone through this path of vision to Jian Dao, huh? But however they still have to keep on practice. And then uh, that's what we call they still have to go for the path of cultivation, just a xiu dao, they still have to keep on, right? So the definition between the jian dao and xiu dao, I'm, I'm sure, I mean, generally means that the jian dao, it all means the path of vision, I mean, is for people actually, they had a practice in order to break away their, their, their wrong view, right? So the wrong view is regard to like, they don't, they, they have doubt. Well, how the doubts come about? Because it's much to do with the perception. You have a certain idea of certain thing. And then also, you, and then also the view of identity about this physical body, and uh, not physical, not only physical, but sorry, identity of this. Uh, you have a perception 
a certain view conventionally how the people teach you or how the classes teach you about what this physical body is, what it is mental, uh, mental body is about. Uh, or body here refer to mean uh, accumulation, accumulation of the material and what is this accumulation of the mental, right, is about. So that's the reason why, and that's also is a perception, right? So that's the reason why then uh, it is also called the path to uh, the, uh, the vision, because you have to true, you have to correct your view to the practice, and then your view has been corrected into on your right view. Okay, understand that? So, and what 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 more have to er eradicate? Doubt is one, the identity of the self, and another one. Grasping on. Rules and observance. Yes, good. And the another one is that the grasping on the rules and observance. But look at this list. The grasping on the rules and observance also has has direct relation to views, right? The views. So then you. That's the reason why it's called the path, uh, the view, the path of vision, because once people are by practicing. Uh, uh, and then what, what way practice we will talk about when we talk about a path. But anyway, by practicing, so this is included as a path of vision. It's, it's because once you've been fulfilling that path of vision, so you have eradicate the main problem of the perception. I mean, in other words, the main problem of the views. So you will always have the correct view. So that's why after only when you're able to be uh, cut off uh, those uh, certain defilements, uh, we, 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 we learned that already, you know. How many are they, the certain defilements? We're back to uh, just like a review. How many uh, defilements are they? Say, how many uh, these uh, uh, proclivities are they that has to be abandoned so that someone will be able to reach to the, the path of cultivation? Do you get, are, are you confused? <laughs> I think it looks like people get confused. Okay, look at, there were three, right? Uh, maybe there's a, so far we, 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 you know, when you learn something, learn a big scale first. So there's a practice. And in the practice, of course, it has to do with the samadhi, and it has to do the vipassana, I mean the samadhi and the insight, right? So we know that. So, and then uh, we're going to talk, uh, because later, later, the more you learn. So now we only learn the possibility, I mean, the, the, the the, the, the Sarawasti theory of how someone and to become a noble person, right? Uh, get now the noble. So when you say a noble person, uh, we translate as a noble person. So uh, what do you say? Do you know anyone, uh, any t Sanskrit Pali or Chinese? Arya? Yep, Arya, good. When someone be Arya, okay? Uh, so even directly you can translate Yali An. Uh, but so, but we can say Shen, huh? So, so when you become the noble person, uh, in the noble person, there are two classes. What are these two classes? Anyone? Okay, so I will just say English. A learner, a non learner. Okay, what is any word? Anyone know Chinese or what? Learner, what is referred to? Good. And uh, anyone know Pali or Sanskrit? Anyone? Pali and Sanskrit? You share, we share. Okay. So, Shiksha Asiksha, okay? Or the Sikha in Pali, Asika, okay? Uh, just let me write Pali. So that's Sanskrit, okay? K S A. There's a top down. So you have the learner and non-learner. So the learner is referred to well, who? <laughs> Again. Good. Yeah. Only Sudapana? No, but and some more? Noble disciples. Just talk, huh? No, they, they, are, they no. You don't remember. Noble the persons, a uh, noble persons, has a learner and non-learner, and then the, and then the learner who are they? Follow. 
No, 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 no. I'm not asking to define that. Who, what, uh, what are the person? What's the name of the particular this kind of person? Just now you say that stream maintainer, right? Yeah, yes. Stream maintainer and someone once returner, right? If if you want to know Chinese, uh, raise your hand, okay? Because some I know some people are not familiar. Non returner. Right? And then who are the person is non returner? Arahat. Arahat, okay. Right. Okay. That's clear. Now let's look at this again. In the stream maintainer, if it, that's what we we, we 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 discussed last week or before last week, there are ninety eight types of this uh, ninety eight types of the uh, procreativities, right? Yeah. Right. And then uh, thirty six type of procreativity belong to the for the censure censure, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, how many types are and certain type of the and then there are thirty one type is belong to the Ruba and Aruba. Okay, they mean form or formless, right? Now, my question is that so you, you, you have just you can count for me later. But I mean, say firstly, when someone becomes a stream maintainer, it means that he has completed the, the path of what? Now, a okay, question. Uh, the path of seeing or path of vision? It's just translation. Okay, completed. Actually, okay. Just learn it this way first. Completed the path of vision. Okay. Okay. If they complete the part of vision, good. Thank you. It's all right. Yeah. If they, thank you. If they completed the path of vision, V I S I O N. Yeah. Completed the path of vision. Once they complete the path of vision, uh, and then they they will flow to the path of what? Okay, the path of cultivation. Uh, no question. In other words, mean strictly speaking, it means the stream enter up just bef when they about to, when they completed the path of vision, is is so the Chinese called Jian Dao, right? And they went only two moments, but we'll we'll we talk that later. So only two moment. There's a two moment, then they will shift to the the path of cultivation. Then they become the stream enter. Okay, two moment. We will say that this detail later, but just learn a rough idea first. So in only two moments, you become the stream maintainers. So the, from the stream maintainer up to the non-returner, even to these uh, uh, other heart, what they were doing? They, in, in the Sarawasti Vada, the practice scheme, uh, the scheme of practices, we call that as a path of cultivation. Is that bhavana? Yeah, bhavana. So they call it bhavana marga. Yeah. Okay. The path of cultivation. Okay. In other words, I mean all the time. You, if you translate the bhavana marga, the marga as bhavana as a meditation, then all the time it just meditate. <laughs> Before that, it's it not all the time. Okay. All right. Now, what's, what's my question? Why we raised this already? Let me, let me see. Oh, we were talking this one. Now, there's a problem with Sarawasti Wada. Uh, the, uh, no trouble. It's one of interesting fact, interesting happen in Sarawasti Wada school, but which is completely denied by the Theravada. Okay? That even some very, there are not many, okay? There are few of the Arahant. Once they become Arahant, they will retrace back. They will, they will fall back to but they would not never fall back to be a not noble person, right? They will, they will fall back, the, the, the worst case, to be the stream antennas. It still is a noble person. The stream, but they can be fall back to the non-returner or one returner. But uh, I mean, there, there's also detailed discussion, mostly it's here, okay, not there. But anyway, it's in the worst case that it will fall back to the stream antenna. So in other words, mean, how do you define that when it back to the stream antennas or the non-returner or the non or the one stream antenna? In what you define it, it is in what, in what defilements they exist? Okay. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> huh? 
even though they are always in a path for cultivation, but they still, I mean, how 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 when you say that oh you are, uh, let's say that if there's a, such a case that another hand retros, uh, turn back or re re retrogress, to one non returner or the one returner, so what in what you return you define is it then it back to the non returner. This is just a name, right? But what? The, the way you do, let's say in the extreme case of stream antennas, in what they would define is this back to the stream antenna, only because as a stream antenna, of course, you know, he back to the stream antenna means there was some defilement, he was not totally cut off, right? And it's, it is there, still, still there. Some attachments, some kind of attachments. Yeah, some proclivities, like, yeah, no. <laughs> So and uh, that, so, is there any suttas that describe that? Do you know? That's that's interesting. I think they do raise up. I think check it maybe when I I have to look for that. I'm so sure I can proof. find for you. <laughs> <laughs> but don't ask the don't ask the teller what a monk. They think you're absurd. Okay. If you ask people about this, don't study Sarvasivada. It's poison your mind. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it, uh, yeah, Sarawak Sivada is more drama, you're, you're right, you know. It's almost like, you know, they can talk everything, they don't want to cover it up, everything happened, they have to discuss why. It's more interesting. <laughs> okay, right. But it, I mean, good way is that we, we open the mind and you know, see that their school actually, you know, have a different, uh, you know, subject to talk about. And, and of course, they, it certainly has to be like, you know, maybe it wasn't really happening in the Buddha's time, but it might be happen, you know, after Buddha passed away many years, hundred years, oh. and then somebody is another Han. But then, what another Han? Why have that those problem again? Then, okay, I don't know for what reason. And they say, maybe that person also admit, you know, I, I, my other Han ship gone. <laughs> <laughs> might be, I don't know. <laughs> maybe we say, oh, my other Han ship gone. <laughs> now I'm just stream enter because I still have to do this again and again, right? So, because, and how he knows that, let's say, how he knows he's gone? Because he knows certain defilements still there again. Mm. Okay, all right. Now, the, 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 any question? Yes? Who does the uh, recognition is the, from their peer group uh, pressure? I mean, or do they get testing? No, 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 no. No, no, of course, the people, if they practice, uh, they, even people, they, when they practice a path of vision, they know what kind of defilements become less now, what is going still there. They do know. Even I think the people here, when they do meditation, they know. When, just like, say, say simple, when the people never done meditation, like samadhi meditation, it is hard for them to understand anything. Now they do samadhi meditation, at least now they know I'm drowsy, or I'm still not happy, and now I have this doubt, right? You have those things, you know very well. So, so when you practice the inside meditation, I mean, if you follow the like Sarawasthivata, say, say that if you follow the Sarawasthivata scheme, when you practice on the way, you always check, you know, what is there, what is not there, what is there, what is not there, what has been put away already, so they know, okay? Just, just for the logical sake, you know, that's uh, very simple. It's because, you know, when you practice meditation, you have to learn how to observe the mind already, right? So, and then, uh, what is associated with the mind, what is not associated with the mind, and so on. But then there's a lot of discussion, many things. But anyway, let's back here. So, no any question, right? So now the question is that you you still have to explain why this non-returner, uh, non-non-non-learner, non sorry, not non-returner, why this the non-learner or the mean arahan, how can he be turned back? How can he be get re, like like a retransgression? How is it called retransgression? I think so. Am I using the right term? I mean he re, 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 relapse. Relapse. Yeah, susceptible relapse. Thank you. How it can be tui, huh? how it can be relapse, how? So that's why I explain, you cannot say, of course, Arahan, he's no Ayonis or Manasikara. I mean, he, is, he doesn't have the correct applic mental application. Arahan is always have the correct mental, applica uh, mental application. And then you also cannot say that the Arahan, he, he has still some defilements there, you know. Yeah, and Arahan, he should be cut off all the defilements. He will be relapsed is because 
when this uh, sugar with saya bala, it means uh, uh, let me how translate. It means the the power of the called the conditioning object becomes so strong, and then he will be a susceptible. Let's say he is arahan, and what happened is that he's not. He's a very pe peculiar type of arahan to my language. Peculiar type of arahan. Uh, he's not very strong. Then he then he come to the New York City. And then uh, somehow he was uh, kidnapped, okay, kidnapped, and then they put it into uh, this uh, how to say a very uh, erotical place, full of the many many lousy music and all this sort of thing, and people force him to drink, you know, he would be kept drunk. I mean, just say, so I'm just just a prisoner, I'm just a subject. So he's on a hand, he always still is, and he's looking this kind of thing is as your uh, manasikara. I mean, uh, <laughs> still the right view, this is uh, impurity, you know, the, he, would, he doesn't have this. Uh, but because many, many factors for him, too strong already, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, the intoxication, so his drowsiness, Allahan doesn't have a drowsiness, right? And drowsiness still come a little bit, and this is how he fall as Allahan. To the one's returner or to the stream antenna. Get it now? And he get frustrated at a time. Because Arahan does not get frustrated. Because Arahan does not have anger. So frustration is never comes to Arahan. Get it now? Yeah. Is this what can be said to differentiate mm. the Buddha from <coughs> an Arahan? Because you know the Buddha was an Arahan, but he was something else. Something yeah, actually else. that's uh, certainly certainly that's agree. Even uh, even uh, if you look at the Majjhima Nikaya and Chinese, uh, Matyama Agama and Chinese version also, it did when he passed away also, and I, I did say the case uh, that like uh, there was a king to ask the Ananda, because Ananda is still alive at that time. So he say is Arahan and Buddha different? He did mention it's different. And that's actually agreed for all. There's no question about that, you know. But we must also bear in mind, even Arahan have many levels of Arahan. Like the, you have the, the most powerful Arahan, like Sariputta, Moggallana, uh, Gariyana, you know, Gariyana, and like Kasapa, and they are the powerful Arahan. And then you have the Arahan who are, anyway, there are many types of Arahan too. So normally this type of, this is referred to the Arahan as the weakest Arahan, but they are Arahan, okay? But, but of course Buddha would never have those kind, even in terms of merit, he would not been kidnapped and then put it there, you know. <laughs> okay, that's uh, that. If that's really happened, it's just because of the marriage problem. But Buddha would never have those kind of uh, marriage. Yes, yeah. Because they won't relapse because of their own, like, or some conditions got to be something no, external. No, actually, this is why what I want to explain this because this is why it's expands Sarawasti Vada. It's a very peculiar, interesting kind of factors. It might be something happened, or certainly there's a sutta or so, but I'm going to say, I, I, this is my wake idea, but I might wake memory, but I think so, but I'm not sure. But I was, anyway, let me finish this mean. He just wanted to explain that you cannot say that's the Arahan when you relapse back to this, you know, as from the non-learner to the learner, that you cannot say is because of they don't have a correct application. They always have a correct application, mean that uh, always is Luri Joyi. So, and you cannot say that they are, they are also because they have this defilement, you know, they, are, they cut off the defilement, the, 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 the proclivities, but then the proclivity back, certain proclivity back, but they would not have the, the doubt, right? They always, the minimal they will stay, as I just mentioned, it's always stay with the, and that affected by the view. Their view is always correct, okay? What it is trade, right? We just mentioned, they don't have doubt about the path. In other words, they know four noble two very well, right? So that's why they know that. And then, uh, I mean, they know it means the practice, and then they know. A big practice part, we're going to talk more when we come to the path. So, and then uh, they know, uh, they definitely know what is uh, wrong perceiving uh, the, the precepts and the regulation, right? And then they also certainly abandon uh, this uh, identity of the self, you know, right? I get it now. But that also can be expanded to understand that person also cast away the two ends, right? They always know what is middle path. Not necessarily all the time he could walk there, but he know. Because those relate to the view. And he doesn't have the wrong view, right? 
Oh, there's no reincarnation, there's no father, there's no mother, there's no good thing uh, to offering things to the gods. No, there's no uh, good thing about religion. No, they always cast away that. That they know there's still good thing there. Okay, get it now. So, and then those are, those are the wrong way to cast away. What are, what are they? Remember, the two things will expand to the five things, right? For the grasping, is the one grasping to the regulation, right? For the view, anyone? The view on the two ends, but that has much to do with the, uh, the identity of the two, identity of the self, right? And one more, the wrong view, what does that relate to? The wrong wheel has to do with the doubt, so they always have the right wheel, right? And then two more, grasping. grasping yeah, that means uh, they are holding this is a right wheel, that this is a wheel, uh, that that has close association to which one? Uh, to thinking the regulation and the, pers the observation is right. Yeah. That is the, the wrong, the, 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 the view to view. Okay, this is how do we translate here? I forgot, let me see. Yeah, Jian Chijian, let me see. It's called grasping on views, yes, that's right. Okay. So that's why you have all, right, the five views there. In other words, I mean, the stream antenna doesn't have the, five, the wrong views. Anything that's regard to the views, right? But then they still have to cut off the, the desire, the attachment much. All right. Uh, no, no, no. Any question? No, right? Now, when one stays, when it becomes a non returner, and then uh, unfortunately, other hand, and then uh, because the external object, that's called conditionality object, so a visaya, jin jie li in Chinese, because of the conditionality object still arises. So, just I say an extreme example, like, you know, then he was really surrounded by so many things disturb their mind, right? <laughs> this is a Sarawasivada belief that then it will fall, it can relapse too. Actually, the story they use to quote is that because one Arahan, when he knew that he is an Arahan, and then he thought that's an extreme story, actually. That's how they explain in Sarawasivada. That Arahan then he thought, okay, I don't want to stay anymore because the life is full of the uh, temptation, something like that. He maybe didn't say that what reason he said, I forgot the text what he did mention. But certainly in Sarawasu say that he was knew that the life was temptation. He was away, worried about him may relapse back. That's why he kind of like in our language mean committed suicide. He just died. And that's a, actually is a controversial passage that how Arahan can be committed suicide. Okay. I mean in in our our mundane, our normal idea, okay? But but I, of course I understand why I think. But just but just to explain to other people is very hard to understand. So it, that Sarawasi Vata try to, my understanding, if I'm not wrong, they, he, the, one of the defending ways to say that the case in him, why he do that, he just don't want to relapse. Okay. So this Arahan, before he relapsed, he committed suicide? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, not before. He knew he didn't want to be relapsed. He, in other words, I mean, he understands there's a chance to relapse. So then he hmm. committed suicide? So. So that's why there's this... No, in other words, if I the word is Dukkha, right? But if he find the word is Dukkha, that's how he understands the Four Noble Truth, he doesn't need to commit suicide, right? And if he have to commit suicide, because that's really, uh, this text exists either in Pali or even in Chinese, okay? If he want to suicide, then why he want to suicide? But of course, it's, it's said that in those days also, there's some other relapse also. I mean... But isn't suicide... Um no, 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 no. He's a different. He's a, no, itself? no. Because isn't that committing? Uh, because the first precept is do no harm. No, 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 no. no. But you, when you kill yourself, you're harming yourself. I know what you mean, but he's not his arahan. His view so is he's, different. He's beyond that. Yeah, he, of course. You want it's he's beyond that already. Also, yeah. we cannot talk in terms of ordinary minds. Yeah, so. yeah, okay. yeah. I'm saying that we don't. Okay. We cannot think about talk that in Within terms of ordinary. Of yeah. Ordinary so that, I just want, yeah, in the texture in, uh, in the Abhidhamma or Sarawasti Abhidhamma, that's the reason why they explain. It, the reason why he wanted to do that is because he didn't want to relapse. That's, that's very clear. And that sounds like a good example. Because he understood that this body is not mine, it's mm. just, 
Okay, yeah. So yeah. He didn't kill us about that. So he didn't want to be relapsed back to the like extreme antenna, and then he had to reborn seven life again, and and so, so on and so on. He died without rebirth. Then he's not coming back. There's no rebirth. Right? Of course, I'll have no. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I think that if I was not wrong, he was sick, very ill, also. Mm. Yeah, he was very ill. Yeah, that that's the that definitely is the one of the example. Uh, one of the case happened uh, a controversial case that uh, in the sutta. I mean, if you look at the sutta, Pitaka, uh, but okay. All right, we, we, we should not, this is just, actually, if you look at the whole Buddhist text, this is just a small case. But of course, some people like to talk to small case, it becomes the most biggest case, and they forget the whole main thing about the Dharma. But I just want to say that, that uh, okay, and then you just out of the, the ray, you know, like, how can that be? It's not possible. I mean, uh, I think there are so many things, you, if you're not at that stage, you never know. Not in that environment. I mean, that environment must be something that his environment, he was really ill. And he doesn't attach to the physical body, and uh, and so on, and he's a non-returner. Do remember? I uh, no, not he's a non-learner, so he's an arhat. Okay, so I just want to explain this mean uh, the the term here. Why you want to mention? So uh, it could be, but then that's that's the reason why there's a, a debate actually between the many many Buddhist school is that the uh, the jinjie is mean the visaya. The word mean the conditionality object. Okay. But it can be mental, it can be, can be like a, the, the environment, the physical one. Uh, so is the conditioning object the one that leads you to uh, the wisdom or because you had the wisdom that you had the conditionality, the conditionality, of, uh, uh, conditionality of the object? Okay, you don't know what I'm saying. Actually, there's one of the statements I usually like. Whenever people ask me to write in those days when I was in Taiwan, I always write this. Okay. <laughs> but sometimes I also write mm. Sometimes I also write in the worst way. So people get confused. In other words, I mean I, I still don't have the answer. <laughs> so it actually means that uh, due to you have the correct uh, object. So your wisdom uh, persists. Or big, uh, you know, that's uh, in, in general is mean. Uh, but then sometimes it's, there's a, another argument say it is because you had the wisdom. Your object is uh, uh, is the correct object. I'm sorry, not for the object in Chinese. Jin jie. Jin. Jin. So that's why we no. This is. What we're reading here, uh, the, we're still back to 4.5.30. And then uh, it is said that in English it's saying, but it did translate here very clearly. Thus, generally speaking, the defilements come into play by virtue, of course, of the application of effort and of the object. You know, that's what I mean, objects. In some cases, however, a defilement may arise by virtue of the objects along as in the case of Rahan, susceptible to relapse. Okay. So, but that's why there's a long debate between whether the correct object will lead you to the wisdom or because the wisdom that leads you, uh, th that you will have the correct object. Okay, now. Any, 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 okay. It's a very, very vast. Uh, uh, now, I'm, I'm sure that once you learn this, you kind of understand now also why if you reach, in the future, you, when you read some in a text, why they explain certain things? So because they actually they all have this kind of background idea, okay? Well, all right. Other people don't explain that much. No, 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 they do. I'm talking I, about you don't. Nowadays, that's a problem. They yeah. learn, they learn a little Mahayana, they think they know. No, <laughs> actually, according to Mahayana, they have to know very well about Hinayana. If they don't know Hinayana, they can no way to learn what Mahayana talk about. So that's a problem. Yeah. So. So, <laughs> and of course, the Mahayana had to believe that they are really much more, they learn more than the Hinayana, right? They have to be, okay. 
So that's that's not my question uh, to, to say about, but I just want to say that's the, the background idea. Th they certainly know this thing, you know. Mm. So, all right, no question? Any? No, okay. <coughs> this is the reason if you learn this, and then once you have written Mahana text, even you know that what they are actually what they are addressing, what's the issue they're addressing. <coughs> Where we are now? Uh, okay. 33, 34. Well, let's read that. Now we look at. Yeah. There are many things I need to say, but I think I should skip it first. Uh, I want to talk about what is meant by the mental application. I think I, sh I should skip it because otherwise, too much to talk. What are you going to talk about the difference between the and the Yeah, it's, that's what we're going to read now. Okay. I think it's very clear to say that. But, uh, okay, here. I didn't find it. Now, let's look at the 4.5, uh, point 30.1, point okay? Generally, uh, we have to understand now, we come to a, another list called the list of the defilements, okay, called Klesa. It's the most popular in Chinese, especially Fan Nao, the word, right? So the Klesa are named because they are, why they are called Klesa? Because they perturb and afflict the physical, uh, psychophysical, uh, physical series, okay? Actually, but you have to also understand when we just use the term anusaya. Remember why it's called anusaya? Hello. Yeah, I mean, why it is called anusaya or sui mian or these uh, precavities? Why? Because they are much subtle, right? According to this text. No, but actually, the more hidden way is explained uh, by this wasubandu uh, or even the Pali way. But uh, if you look at really more faithful to this candila, is because it's more subtle. more subtle. Yeah, more subtle. And then also, and, it's, and then the reason why it's called Shui uh, Mian, why? Why it's still called Anushaya? What is the simile? You said it was sleeping, right? Sleeping. You said it was sleeping, no? Sleeping. Yeah, if you look at literally, is that mean? But there are many explanations. I, I, I want to back to the text first. What the text trying to say? Hmm. It's not very bright. Uh, but Salo, but of course, have a, lit, a little different. But it's not where we sh we don't have to pay too much attention on that at the moment. But what else? Yeah. Hmm. Come on. You can find it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's an image like the bird flying on the sky, looking at the image of the, uh, the, the what, you know. So in other words, mean you were chasing after it, you know. That's why it's called the, uh, you're chasing after it. So that's why it's called this anushaya, the word, why it's called uh, these uh, procavities, mean. And then uh, it's so difficult to separate them from, uh, you know, separate them from the heart, basically from the mind and the mental, the, the, the mind and the mind concomitant. But you cannot say they are there, okay? They are actually, they are the, they are, sometimes understanding is they are the one, you cannot say they are associated with them. They, no, sorry, they associate with them, so difficult to separate, but you cannot say they are the production of the mental and the, the mind and the mind concomitant, okay? This is actually, of course, this have a long discussion later on. Uh, so, all right. And uh, the difference between the procavities and then uh, the cleanser means the uh, defilements are because, uh, what does this defilement mean? Because they will afflict or they will disturb or perturb, you know, your mental and the material, in other words, mean your your physical and mental, you know, so, so that's why it's called Claire's uh, Fan Now, right? 
Okay, why is called fetus? Why? Hello, why is called fetus? We learn. Jie, why is called fetus? Hmm. Why? It's examination, huh? Nobody know that? Because yeah, because it bounded to samsara. So that's why it's called fetters. Okay. But and uh, how many fetters are they? Nine, okay. Uh, uh, the notes I just gave it to you, they're saying nine. But even though it's nine, but they are also cover up. I just need to like uh, repeat again. Even though it's nine, but it still cover up the five, uh, five things related to the views, right? Where you're living now? Oh, because of too too difficult. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, uh, okay. 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 So anyway, then we understand that there are there are, there are, there are factors no reason. Okay. Now we back to the oh, really sorry back to the four point five point thirty point one. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> So that that now we, we know what is called the chelator now, which why it's called defilements because it really uh, disturb you know this the mental and the physical. Now and then why the defilement also called the secondary defilement. So here. So we are reading four point five point thirty one. If you look at the book, that means page ninety five, right? The defilements are also called secondary defilements. They are also secondary defilements comprising all the other defined thought concomitant included under the aggregates of conditionings, as they are included under the same aggregates as the defilements. Okay, in other words, mean we that we call that as the uh, secondary defilements because uh, they are still in, been included in the conditioning dharma or formation xinyun. Okay, still included in the formation. And then not just because of that, of course, because it still is the uh, how to say uh, are defined right in English. Let me see how they translate. Yeah, as they are as been defined, you know, because they are defined these uh, co my concomitant, right? That's why uh, that's the reason why uh, it's called the secondary defilement. Okay. But then the leaves are different. The leaves are different. The leaves you have the following list. But uh, so the list is you have deceptivities, you have this uh, pride, harmfulness, deprave of one deprave one pointedness, enmity, dissimulation, and etc. Okay, the leaves are different. And maybe can be more than that. It's endless. It could be innumerable kinds of things. Yeah. Uh, no, no. No, I think. Kind, yeah, there's, there are many of them, you know. So, generally means that you, you, you have the term called a defilement. Actually, you can treat it as the same as the proclivities. Understand? So far now, we can treat it as same, exactly the same as the uh, Sui Mian, okay? But only the terms are used differently for different reasons, okay? Not the least in Sarawasti Vata. But the term called Sui Fan Nao or Upa Klesa, means secondary defilements, is still used. Actually, in other words, mean why understand how to explain it's called the secondary. Why is called secondary? It's because they are actually operate in the same place and those are still defined. You know, you can understand it such a way. So, so and <coughs> so and and also they are basically operating the same. And also, when this thing happen, though the basis of the the origin, um, no origin, like the fundamental defilement is there. That's why it's called a secondary. Just like when you say 
secondary material, right? The, what is the primary material? Anyone? Yeah, the four elements. And then the secondary material is the eyes, right? The ears. And then the, the, your body livelihood. So all this. I mean, the, the fundamental material is the four elements. Like that, okay? Understand? All right. And then the list is, uh, he just lists a few of them here. Because those are the popular, even later on, of course, if you look at the, if you learn Yogacara school, uh, the Yogacara school, then this list is all there. So, and then, uh, you know, like deceptivities, what does it mean? You know, like deluded others, right? In general, mean like people, he doesn't understand, but he say he understand. So, and he doesn't know, he say no, and so on, because he want to delude the other, you know, for names, for power, for many reasons, right? And then pride has the nature of being arrogant and caring for no one, which results from the attachment to one's own physical appearance, also strength, lineage, purity of perception. Percept means he thinks that I'm, a, I'm the better person. I have a good, good virtue than the other person, right? Learning and elo eloquence and all like that, okay? And he thinks he's much more eloquent than the other, he's much more better learning than the other, and so on. Or because I have a better precepts, you know, and then, so those are the, the like, uh, the pride, okay? Uh, the, we call it mother, actually. In, <coughs> but in England, if you say pride, is a good thing sometimes, okay? <coughs> is it in, in America too? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. We take pride in our work. Yeah, we take pride in our work, yeah, like that, yeah. So, um, but that's maybe it's an issue that need to talk more in, in a different culture. <laughs> okay, and then the harmfulness with himsa is the harm harming of others. As a result, one practices the act of beating and scolding. Basically, you know, it's just if from the mental harmful, maybe even can manifest it to the physical harm harm to other. And the depraved op opinionatedness. I don't know, but anyway, here translate. Brasa, brata, bratasa, you know. Generally, this has also happened a lot. If you are do the management, do you love this list so much? You know, uh, if you do the management, you can see it very clearly. It's a clinging to various reproachable things called Savadya Vastu, Drista, Hradi, Grahita, sorry. In other words, mean you, you hold on uh, this wrong thing. And then uh, would not accept any rightful admonition. You know, say that for example, some people say, they say, you know, do you know that these two people, they are the one a bad person, because they are hiding, they hide in a place, they are doing something else, and actually because that person is jealous, you know, because he doesn't have friend, and so these two people are so friendly, and then uh, he didn't like it. So, and then, uh, then the people approach him or the manager approach him and say, you don't say this thing because you hurt the other people's feelings and you make this company, you know, not, you know, in a good way and so and so. And he still know they are wrong because they don't be there, you know. So that's like that. So this means that they, they, are they still, you know, hold on to the, the wrong thing. They don't accept any rightful uh, ammunition, you know. You know, if you do management, you really love this statement, okay? Perhaps they will say, unfortunately, we don't have here to, to do management. If they have, maybe they ask me to go to teach them, you know? <laughs> 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 this idea. Anyway, and then uh, the number five, enmity is the harboring the hatred within and not letting go, you know? So you might be like on the way you walk and then people bang on you, you know? So, and then if you hold on that, I have a bad day. I'm so bad, and so I'm so unlucky. That person is a problem. He should not do this. Nah, 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 nah. So you hold on, they're not letting it go. So it results from the repeat thinking over the objects of anger. This is called Ubanaha. In other words, mean you first have the anger, right? The anger is what? Is the classer, is the definiments. But then, uh, but you, you, you're still harboring on the object, right? The, the hatred. So not letting it go. So like that. That's one. Okay. All right, and then we come to number six. So here, the, I just follow his trans, translation, okay? Dissimulation is the quickness of the mind. You know what does it mean, anyone? 
Everyone, I think it's best for you to give an example. I talk too much. Come on. What is cookness? What does it mean here? Ah, uh, no, not only just lie. Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's it's related to the lie, but it's not lie. This is called dissimulation, satya. Hmm? Deceit, somebody who's deceitful, has wrong intentions. Generally, I mean, it's the, the crookness is, yeah, you deceive, but generally, you, the deceive, usually we say this word called crookness here. Uh, so it's like, you know, if you say that, did you do this wrong thing? No, I didn't do it. It's a deceitful action also. So, but all you say, did you do that? So let's say, even the good, the, the right thing, if you say, do you do the right thing? Actually, he didn't. He said, yes, I did it. He said, no. But normally, of course, we refer to the right thing means actually he's, he's lying. So that's why it's between in those things. It generally means say he's never strict. Say, when the truth will say, no, I didn't do it. Yeah, I'm like that. So you do meet these people, you know, whatever you say, why do you want to tell, why do you want to uh, slander the others, say some other thing to better? I didn't say that. I didn't say. And this kind of person, only what happened in that they will say the truth, if all the people stay there. You did. The others say, yeah, you did. You say this. From here you say this way. From there you say that way. From there you say. And that's why you find this kind of person normally in a public place, he never want to open a mouth because he knew this problem for him. You know. <laughs> they will not open their mouth and uh, because they know if they say uh, I did, I'm like that and then everybody will have the example no you did say that to me then they'll say yeah you did say this to me and then he have no way to run away right that's called a uh, crookness you know what I'm saying so he always uh, just for himself benefit and he just changes the, the mind uh, how to say become a, a cook a Cook, I don't know how to describe it in English. Crookedness. Crook crookedness, yeah. Crookedness, yeah. In, end of the mind. All right. It's like if somebody says, did you shovel the shit snow? And, and you say, well, I wanted to, but I couldn't find the shovel. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's also, that is also true. Right. That's also one of the very, yeah, good one. Well, I think it's a crook, it's a crook. Yeah. Mm. But even normally, if the people are so-called the 正直 in Chinese, mean the streak and upright, he would say, oh, I'm sorry, Bande, or oh, teacher, I'm sorry, I didn't do it because I was lazy today. he just say that. He wouldn't say, no, I didn't find a shower. Yeah. Then you notice a crookness there. He would say, oh, uh, yeah, because he would admit I'm really lazy, so I didn't look for that. Then he say, okay, then do it later. So that's why you know when the conversation, you're very clear. So if you learn this Abhidhamma, you will practice, you're very clear. But of course you don't say it, you just, these people, they don't have wisdom yet. You, you don't want to say, that's why sometimes when they're very close to me, I force them, tell me, yes or no. I don't want to hear that. You know? Then they will say, no, I, I, I. they're still running the sky. You know? <laughs> <laughs> if you say me, no, I'm lazy, I didn't do it, that's fine. You know? I don't know, okay, fine. You're, you're upright. That's what we call upright. And yeah. Yeah. All right. So, and he said that this, what he just mentioned the sixth time, so, and uh, uh, actually it's a gross, you know, uh, uh, in the uh, defiling natures. So, and then uh, that's why it's also, it's, you can call it as a defilement tense, okay? So actually I forgot to mention this, is called Klesa Mala, okay? Defilement tense, tense. I think, I think I should put this one. Tense, yeah. So, but among the six, among the six types, you know, that he just mentioned the six types, among the six types of the defilement tense, the deceptiveness and pride are the emanation of the greed, and they are de derived from the hatred greed, okay? Anyway, generally means that the, you know, the, the first two one, you remember how to say, uh, how to try and say that? The deceptiveness and then, uh, yeah, he here mentioned already, and then the, the, pride. the pride, yeah, are from the greed, that's why. And then the other one is from the hatred, okay? 
So there's a, there is an emanation from hatred. So the harmfulness and enmity, right? Want to harm the other and then does, does not hold, still don't want to abandon what it, they get angry you know, with. So just in Chinese, it's hai gen hen. So you want to harm the other. So that's the reason why he want to hurt the other. You know, let other feel bad because of hatred is there. Okay. And then the these uh, so-called is uh, uh, depraved opinionateness. Okay, is the emanation of the is emanation of the holding on the wheel. You know, because as he who clings to his own wheels as being the best wax himself as well as the others. Right. So because they are holding on the wheel, that's why uh, uh, the best. So and actually, he make himself get angry and make other get angry. You know. So that is the depraved op uh, opinionness. What is the depraved opinionness? Hello, anyone remember? I'll ask you the back there. Views. Huh? To yeah. No, that is uh, because of queen to the wheels. Now let me um, let me finish this, and then we are going to have a little break before I say something. About it. You know what? What is what's the means that depraved opinions? Now we are back here, four point five, point thirty one, point four, right? It means whenever he do any wrong thing, he doesn't want to listen and hold on his opinion, right? In, in Chinese, maybe more like a gu zhi, fei chang de gu zhi, right? Like that. No, yeah, and not not upset any right for I'm not admonition. And this kind of thing it never happen to the people who have the right view. In other words, if the people is a stream antenna, it it listen. He might be just quiet. He says, "Oh, you don't do this. You know, this is what, what, what. He would think, "Oh, yeah," and he just keep quiet. So that's why this is very easier for you to observe. When people ask me, "How do you know whether a person is a stream antenna?" Even if you give the right advice, he still fight back with you. It's not possible. It's a stream antenna. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, I mean, people ask me a lot of questions before. Oh, how do you know this? I mean, so easy. I don't know why it's so difficult. I mean, don't talk about Arahan. Arahan definitely much, much easier. You know, because even if it's really score Arahan, he doesn't have, not like he was like a, like a vegetable. He was just, he's still calm, quiet. Yeah, but of course, you, you have a bad karma. That's your, say, your thing. <laughs> he will not. Because anger is not there at all, never. He might be just sitting and quiet, and maybe, or he had maybe only developed his compassion to you, right? So I don't know. This some people believe them. Some someone is Arahan and they're Arahan. I say, uh, I maybe have seen somebody really like Arahan or somebody like uh, non-returner. They never angry, never, never. There's no way you make him angry. Never, 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 like that. I have to say this, man. And then, of course, uh, uh, Sotapanna, this uh, one returner, or, and then this uh, so called uh, 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 the stream antenna, yeah, they get angry sometimes. So, so, but I mean, but they do get angry, but they don't have this. Because why you have to learn this? Not, of course, not to check the other, check yourself the more. But you, when you don't want to check yourself, you know. So, I want to say, give you one good example is like, he said that already, you know, these people. Because the, the depraved opinionness come, tense comes is because they, they are the many because they have this kind of wrong view. You know, they have the, the view holding to the, no, they have the, uh, how to say, obstinate on their view. You know, they are still holding on the wheel. And this thing is being cast away for, for the stream internal already. You know what I'm saying? So that's why there's no way there's a cookness by them that was all. There's no way, especially this one I'm saying that, the so-called depraved opinionness, the now, go. It's never, never happened. Okay. Okay, get it now. Hello, understand? Yeah. So it's very clear if you see that, he say, oh, I'm a stream maintainer. And then you say, oh, teacher, sometimes I don't think your opinion is good. Why you say that? I'm not. You know, you, you are foolish. No, 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 no. It's not, like that. It's not possible. Okay. And he also so un, un, argued it with other in that way. Anyway, so you know what I mean. So and you know he's wrong already. You know you should not uh, teach you actually your information is not enough. But how do you know 
this is correct, and he will say, who say that? I don't have no, you know, information. I got all the information, you know, and this and that. So he, he was just, oh, yes, I'm sorry, maybe I really don't have right information. So he apologized because it's not like a really fake. He really know, oh, okay, I said something, you know. You know. Okay, you get that? what I mean? Right, the last one, the dissimulation tense is just the elimination of various views as those in home views predominate are mostly dissimulative, okay? In other words, I mean the dissimulation is also because of the wrong view of the view, holding on the view, you know. So, because of that, because the loss of view actually are crooked. That's why these people, that's why they say the crooked uh, uh, generally means, uh, by crookedness is meant the evil views, okay, bar because okay. So, or you could also can understand the stream mentor would not have the crooked view at all, right? Right. He would not pretend. He would say, I don't know, I don't know. He would not like, as I say, why didn't you clean the place? Uh, I slept over today, I slept a little too much. That's fine. No, I did. I go out, have a look, you know, I couldn't find, like you say, a broom. So I didn't clean. And you know, not true. But you know, it's very, there's no way for a stream to do that. He only tells you. Enough. Huh? You know what I mean? You know what you mean? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> so anyway, so we understand that either the tense and the elements, they are the same because they are the uh, defined in the thought and concomitant or my concomitant. So and included under the aggregates of the conditioning. So remember, there's two reasons. One is still because it's defined this kind of thing, either the tense or the elements, right? So, because they are also defined that the mind concomitant, so and under the included the, the, the aggregates of the, also been under the aggregates of the conditioning, so they are also called the secondary defilements, okay, as they are born uh, of the defilements. All right, understand now. So, in other words, I mean sometimes you understand what they, when they call it as a tense, okay. But they also can understand the tense. Also, generally, when you say the tense, there are six in the list. Okay, get it now. Go, just a little go. Huh? But then, whenever there's a, you say that sometimes there is the uh, the uh, uh, body you stand up means the environment. Environments. There are ten environments, right? Remember? Hello. Oh, we haven't talked about that yet. So, oh, sorry. Okay. So and then environments also they are they are still you know uh, we we also sometimes also understand it those things as the how do you use the term as the ubiquitous I mean secondary defilements. The reason is because the def by definition there are two one it will define it will they make the define the uh, mind concomitant okay xin shuo the wu lan xin shuo. And the second defilement is still undergo in the samskara formation. Okay. Okay. Hello. So that's why it is called uh, uh, ubiquitous, called a secondary defilement. Right. All right. So we have a little break and ten minutes, and then we back our class. But you can ponder over if a question, please ask. But don't think this list is so what. But you find the more you learn, actually now you get more understanding many things also. But the more you learn, you have much more clear the reason why this thing mentioned in the Buddhist text and why they're so important and so on. Okay. And actually, it's a very, very interesting. Huh? How about the second one? What well, in the second one? The secondary uh, definement. And then the second, second one, oh, the first one is because it defined. Because it's still in the formation. formation. Okay. Okay. All right. Have a 10 minutes break. So let's look at the list and then we might be, if we have a lot of discussion, we can discuss more later, okay? 
So we come to the 4.5.33. Now we come to the 10 environments. environments okay. So the word uh, environments is the body used on Or in Chinese, mean chan. It means like almost like. Uh, but if you look at it, so Chinese word, so it's uh, it looks like uh, you've been uh, like a like a hook, you know, hook there, hook there, something that hook on there, not you know, you know. So but I use but here they translate as envelopments. So anyway, you've been en enclosed, you know, you've been envelope, no, bao zai yi qi, bao zai na bian. So uh, of course, I um, mean then. Uh, Anyway, so maybe if you have question on uh, because it's so subtle to discuss, but just talk at, look at the list first. The list, uh, the first, uh, those list is very like uh, much uh, to do with uh, the, the few of the list are much to do with the meditation that the five hindrances, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then you have this like a drowsiness, like a turbo, and then you have this uh, mid, uh, mid time, mid, uh, sorry, the out, out of there means the restlessness, right? Remorse. Jealousy and remorse, and those are the uh, actually find the five hindrances. And then you have the uh, the the jealousy, right? And what else? Um, uh, what what avarice? Immodesty, shamelessness, anger, concealment, right? And then then it start to translate. Uh, start to explain what are these. So we just go through it simple quickly. So the turbo is a lack of aptitude, you know, in other words, mean your body have no flexibility, basically, of the phys uh, uh, psychophysical series. So in other words, I mean your physical body, you know, your mind or the, your body do not have the flexibility, you know, in a serious way, in, you know, like continuously, in continuously. It is the heaviness of the mind and the body. So that's why you feel uh, the drowsiness. You just feel heavy, you know. I mean, and people who practice it know very well. When your mind and body feel very light, you don't have this kind of drowsiness come, right? For those who study, uh, do meditation, they know very well about those. So drowsiness is the inability to sustain the, uh, sustain the physical, uh, hey, anyway, mental and physical serious. It causes mental compression, okay? <clears throat> uh, and then this is classified as an envelope only when it is defined, right? So, in other words, mean if you are not when you feel sleepy, sleepiness, drowsiness. Sorry, if you feel drowsiness, but then, uh, but you don't have the, you were not defined, right? So you don't call that as the uh, 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 so-called envelopment. Okay. Did you say that arahants never get drowsy? Mm -hmm. Oh really? Mm. So they don't get sleepy. Oh, it's a difference between sleepiness and drowsiness. Uh, my understanding is normally don't, definitely not sleep more than eight hours. There's no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying drowsiness is um, sleepiness comes when. Huh? So. <laughs> so they're not human, basically. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's very important to understand here to define this is that uh, when people are drowsiness and go to sleep, I th no, I think that when people have a drowsiness, hmm? did I did I read it right? When they shouldn't be drowsy. Is that it? When you when you. You know they don't definitely have no drowsiness. The, and now here the problem is the sleepiness. So right. Is that, am I, did I read the right one? Yeah. Okay. So, in, I don't know what's your question. So, yeah, the drowsiness generally, he wanted to say that sometimes, but uh, you have to understand when it's defined, it's only when it's defined called drowsiness. Otherwise, you don't, uh, you don't say that as a kind of a... People feel drowsy, but it not necessarily has to be like... That's why they, when people get drowsy, there's a been defined one. Uh, when it's defined, you know that it's called the envelopment. Otherwise, it's not envelopment. It's just drowsy. Right, so when you, as students say, if you're tired, drowsy, mm. to go to sleep, then it's okay. It's not a defilement, mm. but it's just you need to go to sleep. So but that's, it, like, that's yeah. not a defilement. Mm. Okay. 
It's not. Uh, yeah, to be more precise, the word is it's not environment. Mm. But when you're saying I had AI, because according to the Sarvastivada, if you're more precise, if you say it's a drowsiness, right? The drowsiness is caused from uh, anyway. So uh, generally, because often you don't have the right view or whatever. But I want to say that it's uh, so to be precise, you don't say defilement is not environment or it's not the hindrances. It's a hindrance, but not necessarily is that it is the is a hindrance, but it's not necessarily is the environment. Okay. okay. So the dresses means that when I slept good eight yeah. hours, and then I, I go to meditate and I, I fall asleep. That's is that is that a default because I'm not paying attention or so it's not easy or is that no. You feel you can see your drowsiness, right? But that is not not necessarily as environment, oh. but you still is. It would not let you to have entered the jhana, so the drowsiness is there. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. What do you mean by restlessness? So is that which causes non tranquility of the mind? Right? That's what we know, so we don't have to say that, man. Mm. What about the kaukritya? Okay, the word kaukritya of course means remorse. Okay, what does it mean by the remorse? Done something bad. <laughs> yeah, you've done something bad. Then you have a remorse. But a distinct regret. actually maybe generally means remorse is a kind that you are regret what you have done. Uh, so in other words mean it's based on the the result you have, so you you have to trace in your cause. Right. Uh, so that's what I mean. I, I'm not, not going to explain the other what he say, but generally means mean so it's what you have done in the bad, but you feel bad about it. But in other words, you have the fruit already, you have the result, and then you are tracing the cause of it. That's called remorse. But in Buddhism, remorse is a bad thing. Okay, it still is environment. Right. But then you have to understand. Now let's say, if you are, you feel remorse, you feel sad, you feel anger. After that, you feel. Uh, uh, or you have a wrong view, understand it, or maybe you. Uh, anyway, that's you look at your. your also, you look at the the, the 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 reason why you become remorse. So say that say that I'm remorse now. I feel uh, I I shouldn't I shouldn't do that thing, but then after that I still feel I'm, I still keep on um, anger with the person. If that person not there, I should not. I would not have this problem, right? So that is kind of remorse. Uh, you didn't, you, your, your, your mind get angry because of that. So then that's been defined. So that is called envelopment, right? It's a time. But if you are, if you are meditation and then you are, you you you, you, you feel oh at that time I shouldn't done that thing, you know. You you saw the cause and effect, and then how that will lead to your future. So it is not in Buddhism. Yeah, in the language you could say you are observing your remorse, but you are not as a remorse in terms of the uh, environment. Okay. So this is the distinction between the defilement and the development. Mm. Okay. So All right. So you mean that the mm. um, the defilement it's not good, but um, uh, wait a minute. So what is it? The environment, not defilements. Okay. Defilement is more subtle. Okay. The environment is the one that will be attached to your mind, so that's and then you let you go obvious? on. Is it more obvious? Than, huh? Is it easier to? Yeah, it's more. It's more obvious, certainly. Oh, okay. When <laughs> when you have samadhi, this thing will not happen. Seems like an environment sort of overwhelms you. Yeah, overwhelming. So it's envelope you. It's it's attached to your mind. Uh, sometimes they explain it this way because this uh, uh, the environment. They, they will envelop your mind. But these, uh, if you look at the defilements, defilements or so-called the uh, mm, factors, or what, what more term is that? Anusaya is uh, proclivities. They actually, they are more like the one that chasing after, uh, chasing after this uh, mind concomitant. Okay. Because if you defile, they'll have it's the same. So if you say, can you also have some proclivities and go into jhanas? Because they, don't they say that you cannot enter jhanas you can. if you have defilements? Yeah, you cannot have. No, 
you you go to jhana you can in the in the jhana you still can you still have these defilements not defilements and proclivities and all these uh, uh, classes class uh, uh, defilements, uh, defilements yeah or tens I'm uh, not tens I'm not tens sorry wrong no not tens yet um, fetters yeah but you you cannot you cannot go to jhana with the with these envelopments no Okay. But you can still can with proclivity. Mm. Okay. Okay. So the characteristic of the jealousy and avarice have already been discussed in the section of factors, so we don't have to talk that again. Now we look at the four point five point thirty three point seven. What does it mean by here, that there's a, sometimes it can be defined differently, as I say, uh, you know, defined differently. Here, immodesty is that which caused disrespect to virtue. Wu chan kui de chan. It means cause disrespect to the virtues and those who are virtuous. It is a dharma opposed to the respectfulness. Okay. So generally, when you say somebody is have no, has no uh, disrespect or immodesty. Because they don't respect those people uh, who are virtuous or even understand the virtue or respect the virtues, right? And then Wu Kui, in other words, means the shamelessness, here translate, is one not to see the fearful consequence of evil, you know. They don't see the, the, the they don't fear about the, the, the evil consequence. It is capable of leading to rebirth in the law planners of existence. Here, that means they don't fear that. It's here, evil means that which is condemned by the good ones, okay? So in other words, I mean the evil, it's, uh, it's not like you were born as a evil and so on and so on. Evil is mean for people who are noble. The good ones normally refer to people who are very wise. They can see a little thing there, uh, you know, a little, little different thing there only. So, so that's mean by the wise. Because a lot of people, they are not really wise. Uh, they thought, okay, doing that is fine, you know. Uh, this, there's a $10,000 there, why don't you just take it? That's fine, because nobody knows. So, and that's referred to the people who are really like a very wisest person. So we would say, no, you don't even take that because blah, 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 blah. You might go to hell even, you know, and so. Very, very subtle thing. All right. So, number nine, anger is excluding the hostility and harmfulness. That's, you know, everybody know, I guess. That which causes hatefulness with regards to the sentience and non sentience okay? In other words, I mean by, what's that meant by anger? So, you just want to, you know, to hurt the other, either they are sentient or non sentient So, and then uh, they, they have a kind of characteristic is that, uh, generally mean the, you know, you, you make your mind, you know, like uh, ang angry. So that's the reason why it's called anger. But Chinese call the fun. I have to say that because the Chinese term, they're really careful about that. The same as party or Sanskrit are different terms for the anger. Okay. But they have different meanings. So this is here more like a serious one. Uh, mm. Yeah. Why does it, <coughs> anger, why does it exclude us? No, I think excluding here mean excluding here means that I think the transitions are very nice in that way. So anger is besides maybe I think maybe best not excluding. It means uh, besides mean beside we are talking about hostility and harmfulness. Maybe that's a better translation. No, besides in English besides. Beside hostility and harmfulness. So in any way, anger is one of them. Like like the 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 the, the uh, one of the proclivity, right? But uh, but you know, remember this uh, the hostility is like a proclivity. But when you say harmfulness is uh, what we just mentioned the term uh, no, the tense. There are six uh, six tens, one one ten. You want to hurt the other, you want to use physically or language to abuse the people, right? Yeah, yeah, right. 
Get it now? Yeah. Besides make more sense, it mean it's not excluding. Sorry, I think that's translation. Uh, yeah, in that anger is besides hostility and harmfulness. Anger that w is the which causes hatefulness, at, with regard to the sanction and non sanction You know. But if we, if this term actually understanding differently, anger this uh, the, this word, uh, fun, cloda, okay. Uh, this word uh, in uh, yoga chala school we understand is a kind of like you get anger when you walk, like you know somebody uh, like bend on you and you get very angry with the people, you may be what are you doing and then you go, then you're fine. But in a way, it's more minor. Uh, so, or maybe because you're walking and then this thing come down to your by nature, the wind blow, you get very frustrated. <laughs> I'm so bad luck, you know. <laughs> that the lamb bent on my head like that. So that's called kroda. But in Yogacara, I understand that actually is a minor way. It's because when you when you when it comes to the head and then after you put it aside, you get very angry and you physically angry with non sentient thing. Is because you know non sentient like wind blow your eyes. Oh, what the, what is that? So that's called cloda. But if it, if it hand, when it grow in the eye, we see the wind, everything. You know, it would not like this. It would not because of this measure now. No, that's very different. Anyway, so we we'll talk something else again. Okay. Let's back to this. So it means if you don't hold on it, if you hold on it, you become the second. This is what they hear they translate as the harmfulness. Uh, no, not harmfulness. You have the, uh, no, this uh, hostility. No, what? Well, There's another one we learned before. Hatefulness, sorry, sorry. And then you become hatefulness. That, no, before the one we learned, let me look at the term. I sometimes so bad uh, to remember that, that we just learned a term, anger. Where is it now? Anyone? Just now we just learned a term hate for the for the tens, I think we have. Because uh, my, my 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 paper is so calm. Yeah, MET. It's also the PD thinking over the objects of anger. Yeah, 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 no, yeah that's one. And then you become MET. So you are still holding on that, and then after that, then you become hatefulness, hun in Chinese, and then you have the hatefulness, uh, and then the, the hatefulness is that then that the enmity one you you feel like you are uh, you are really like uh, tickling, you know, whole body was tickling you you because of holding it, and then uh, then you become hatefulness. You really you know like whenever you think about that you, that that lamb on your head. You get really, really angry. So, and that is like a burning. Your whole body was like a lobster, you know. But mm -hmm. you've been sometimes they describe it almost like you are like uh, like a crab, and then you put on the water, a little bit of burnout. You you just struggle, right? So that's uh, one. But what is the base of it? The base is the 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 the, the dosa. I mean the 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 hate hatefulness, the hate as the uh, as the proclivity or or as the factor, of pratika, you understand? The, the, the conflict, or the, the, the hate. There's a sandu, the three poisons, you can understand. But here we are not referred to only three poisons, because we are talking about how someone becomes a sandhood. So you could say the base, what is the base? The base is what we learn. Either these, uh, I forgot how, what we translated them, so many terms already. So anyway, it's related to the anger. So sometimes we say pratika or dosa, so those are as a hatefulness, as a proclivity, or as a, you can use as a defilement, or you can use as a factor. They are the base. Okay. Yes. So, for an example, if I go to the train and the mm -hmm. I'm running for the train and the doors close and yeah. I don't go in and I'm really angry, yeah, that's because of a hatred. Yeah. That anger. Mm. To believe some is it's a hatred. Mm. Then if I hold it and say, oh. Hate yeah. hate city. Then you have the second stage. It means uh, what we learn the the the, the, the enmity, and, and, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then if you think I would never take a train again, right? I'm not. Yeah. I want to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Whenever you think about a train, you just, just really like you know. 
So then you go to another. That is uh, what do you call? Papancha. Uh, no, 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 no. Papancha is thinking about. Uh, just now, I forgot the uh, the cro the crowder. Uh, as uh, the crowder, yeah. As the yeah. And what the base is the the hatred. Mm. The thoughts are the more basic. Oh yeah, it's certainly. And uh, only only the third fruit people can cut it off. The first fruit, the second fruit still remain there. Only the third fruit cut that thoughts are off. The quota. Yeah, but I mean that's why they still have it. But they might be very because they, they have the right view, they don't hold it very long time. They still have anger. Yeah. Because they can be triggered by the anger, by the first fruit and second fruit. But the second fruit is very minor. Usually they never show it. They get angry is in the mind. They will never like, what the hell? No, there's no way for the second fruit. They were just very minor in the heart. And this is really big deal, really big deal. We regard something. Definitely it's not always like that. Oh, because of the door, because of that, because of this, no way. Maybe one, two things, you know, for his life, he's still attached to it because still attachment is not completely cut off, right? And uh, so maybe it, uh, something like, okay, they say that the temple and his temple suddenly something really big deal, he might be get angry by that time. So that's for second fruit. But the first fruit, of course, uh, uh, some depend on person characteristic, the anger can be very strong too, can be less strong. But the second foot definitely is very minor, minor, yeah. But the third foot they will cut off, cut that off already. So he never were angry with those things. Never angry, yeah. But, yeah. Sorry. Mm. How about? I mean, I think Bhikkhu Bodhi has talked about this. Mm. When you see people suffering mm. with hunger or mm. big problems, and you get sort of angry at the situation, because this is an unfair situation. I think I, my understanding, of course, different people have different opinions. My understanding that definitely. You only have compassion, you don't have anger. When you have the samadhi of compassionate, you don't have anger. But don't, isn't there a feeling of this is wrong, this is, this is not good, this should be changed? But if you're feeling that this is wrong, this is not good, still you don't see the impermanence, you don't see the suffering, and that is the nature of it. Uh, that is my understanding. So when you see people starving, mm -hmm. I mean, how could you just say, well, that's no, how it is? Yeah, they do think that way, but they still help people. With a with a love mind, maybe may put it more more this way, like you know, a mother, when they understand they are in a war zone, they cannot anger with the war zone. Okay, but they still worry about the child and ask them not to be careful, not to be you know starved, not to be eat, not to be killed or so and so. And I mean, in terms of the, like when the when the moment he only full of the love, I don't think that uh, as I say. If uh, I'm talking about like a Sotapanna Sakadagami, if he did a Sakadagami, that means the, the not one returner, so that definitely cannot sing almost like. Only if they sing, maybe like say that uh, this is just my imagination, I'm not sure. But let's say it could be like so, like uh, when the kid was eating something, somebody will steal away immediately, right? Take that away by force. That don't eat, I don't want you to eat, I want you to starve to death. Then the mom maybe get angry that time, but he's a second fruit, so I say he's the one returner. But if the non returner, according to my understanding, on the whole Abhidharma system, so and then when the fruit was snapped away from the child, and you know non returner can be still a, like a, a, a lay person, so he would just com comfort with the child, don't cry. That's how the life is. Sometimes people are bad, take your thing away, and he would not angry. Uh, because uh, the, in the whole pictures, because you see the whole, uh, whole samsara. samsara, the whole yeah. Yeah, this is also samsara. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. in a way, that, that's why. He he said, I witnessed the stuff making samsara. That's a dangerous way. Of thinking. Yeah. No, no, no. But I don't mean that. This, I mean, I understand it's a dangerous way. Is that because some people also teach in that way, and then uh, they say that people teach you this way, and then you become very passive, passive yeah. mitis. I know what you mean. But I think uh, this is why I say to really understand what is the sand, it's not easy. Yeah, no, no, not easy.
Yeah. I'm talking about in terms, he doesn't mean that you have to do so. He didn't mean that. I'm talking about, this is very individual practice. Now, they, they, they attend that way, they understand that way. I'm not saying that, oh, okay, you know, that's why if they encourage you to do the same way, this is still have something to do with, they don't not correctly understand what it means by upholding the right observation of the precepts. So, it, it doesn't, because they know this is uh, people watch, you know, that's the reason why uh, the Buddha actually, if in terms of this way, I think that definitely the Buddha have a different understanding there. So we also know the story of the Buddha when he said that his kingdom had been snapped away. Because of the long story anyway, I'm not going to say the story now. So and then the Buddha also tried to prevent that, prevent that the war. And he, the story said that, say that he sat on a tree waiting for the, 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 the king anyway, uh, you know, going to invade his country. So, but the Buddha didn't show angry. Buddha didn't raise the, the war. Say, come on, my country is going to die. Sakya, Sakya clan is going to diminish, right? He didn't, he didn't show that. I mean, say, say Arahant definitely, there's no way. So he knew that, but he knows he still have to do something, and he sit there, and he didn't even say a word, actually. He didn't say, you know, this is wrong, you know, don't do this, and cause any effect. He would just sit there to, sh to tell people peace is more important in that time. So, uh, but uh, I'm not sure whether he should speak or not, I don't know. But I just want to say, at least in the story that... Uh, but you know what I want to say, this is like that. Even if I give conference paper, if there's really something topic about related to that, I'm not going to talk this way, because people I know hate me. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, we have studied Dharma now, okay? I will talk in terms of this. But if I give a paper, I will try to find some support and say, you know, you know, this is wrong. So, the right view is very important, the wrong view, you will be I would say in a different way, but ultimately, <laughs> I don't know how to tell you. It's that's why sometimes I avoid to go to a certain uh, uh, conference. Actually, I knew it's very. You have to tell them. You have, it, they have to need a great pictures in their mind. Otherwise, it's very hard. I think this is my opinion. Anyway, yes. Mm. Can I guess you're kind of interested in your, Elizabeth, you mentioned about the, uh, the practice of equality. No. That's why I say, that's why I use the word not only equanimity, even compassion is enough. It, if out of compassion when the people are starving, you have to try the way to save them. But you, when you save them, you do not issue anger. That's what my, my, my answer is here. That's my, what I mean. You do, you, like the activities usually, this is why I find very strange to me. Actually, I did give a talk in Boston this time in meditation, right? Like the activities, so I, I knew some of the activities, even in England. Of course, they saw me in those days, very few months, especially in university. Of course, they like to talk to me, many things, because some, lots of them read Buddhism too. And uh, they find Buddhism help them a lot, understand many things too, whatever. So, but the, my, at least I know few of them, I would say, personally. I even been, leave their house too, you know, stay with them. And uh, they really get very angry. So. They're really angry, you know, about the injustice and all these sort of things. And I, I mean, I'm here to say that probably can happen for the Sotapanna when they are really in the subject that really, they really care. This attachment is there, right? So, but definitely it's not for the third fruit, as I said. And the second fruit, I mean, according to my understanding study, so the second fruit then might be very minor, you don't see it. But then people also can sometimes, at times, if they are the stream antenna, means sotapanna, they might be can use a compassion also. But actually, even the normal persons can always use compassion to deal with the problem. They don't have to be angry, but they can address the unjust issue, you know, with the compassion of mind. Like, okay. So you can still be an activist, but without anger. You can still be an activist without anger if you especially to to, to practice of uh, Brahma Vihara. I think in the Western. Yeah. But I think the only person was like Gandhi was one who kind of yeah. practiced that. And yeah. I, to a certain extent. The Ahimsa, like Gandhi. Yeah. yeah. And to a certain extent, um, I think God, I mean, Martin Luther King practiced um, mm. to some. Uh, mm. He he knew what was right, but he was kind of vocal about it. But I think. You know, I think he had said you just have to love, not know with hate. I mean, what the Buddha said. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right yeah. But of course, then, you know, from Buddhist perspective, definitely Gandhi would not be like a stream antenna. So Gandhi is definitely because he found the love for the God and, and understand that uh, very much teaching. You know, the love for the God is like a Brahma Vihara. 
right? So, and then so he has that kind of quality. So you, you can say Gandhi has a quality, even from a Buddhist perspective, he has a quality of the, 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 the force of non-abiding. So he can be not, not ahimsa, not hurting anyway. And even, you know, raise the, the, the road, raise the, what you call, raw the, uh, the, the, the protects against the, the British government, right? But without anger. So he always show his calmness, quietness, and no, 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 or maybe more like a Dalai Lama. But of course, we won't say that Gandhi definitely is a Sotapanna, like he's a stream maintainer. So, so, but as I want to say, but then maybe the stream maintainer show the angry also can. You know what I'm saying? This is what I want to say. Get it now? Yeah, and I think we have to be careful that, as you're so, saying, that not to be because the stream maintainer indifferent because the suffering because you still can do. Can deal with, with compassion, but mm. without anger. No, but I, I want to say the one thing is very important because people, people, you don't say also that you have to know the whole picture. You don't say that, oh, he's anger. Gandhi is not anger. So Gandhi is a stream antenna, and that, uh, that, that person, he actually he did show his anger. So he's not stream antenna. No, stream antenna is still anger. Okay? You, you have to understand. Because if you have the samadhi, or if you have the samadhi in Buddhist perspective, even when, when you have samadhi of the force of line abiding, right? So the, the and then you can sh not show anger at all. But you are not stream enter, okay? Okay. <laughs> you have you do Okay. So now that's why you learn Buddhism. Uh, this actually the Sarawasti Vada, this is uh, not only Sarva, Pali have a Pali less focus on this kind of thing. They focus more other. But uh, the Sarawasti Vada actually they are very much focused. I think they have a reason why they must be have a whole back Back, back, background reason they they form this discussion, you know, and uh, there. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, I thought we can finish uh, the notes, but always as I <laughs> expect it doesn't. But uh, you know, next week definitely can finish. Please at least read. Uh, we and then we don't have class until when? The week after. Oh, sorry. Then the week after will be the last class, and then you have a long break, you know, lucky you. Now let me, let me just give the list where you have to read it. We need to digest. Practice. <laughs> okay, and then uh, please, uh, if you can, go back to read uh, uh, until this... Uh, That's maybe until at least uh, this time the coming class uh, read it until this four point five. I mean four point five point thirty five point five. In other words, mean before four point five by thirty six. I don't know. So read until four point five by thirty six. Mean yeah, four point five point thirty six. Four five four five thirty six. Page ninety nine. Yeah. Yeah. Then the, because the next one we call about the clinging, and then uh, and then the, then actually the most difficult is one hundred and two, and the knowledge and the receptivities. Those you have to talk about the path. It's a huge subject. Yeah, but it's it's interesting, I guess. Right? Yeah. No. Looks like no no response. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. But that's good term. You know, you eat it first, and then let it digest slowly. <laughs> but there's a problem. Is some people they don't want to eat it. They find that this is so difficult to swallow. <laughs> they think I don't know why we study this. You know. Oh, I try. I try to put sugar. Always talk something funny. <laughs> but still, no people like it. I think it takes a long time. No, but it doesn't take a long time actually. And some, uh, things, some things are immediate. Actually, you, if you really finish the study, you look at the Vishuddhi Maga again, the Path of Purification, you look at the Foundation of Buddhism again, you know what I mean. I don't know how to explain to you. You definitely, wow, you suddenly, not don't know why you know okay, the, so after we finish the picture this, we'll very clear. <laughs> <laughs> very clear. Okay, do the transfer marriage, yeah. <laughs>